Certainly has, and as we said in that first quarter, a lot of free kicks behind the ball. Crowley and Harvey involved in a few of those, but uh, Burma, and here's another one that uh, a free kick. Didn't see it, can't comment. Sandilands has got a free. Every umpire active tonight. The ball inside the forward 50. Door goes back, fists it towards the pocket. Bounces on its point and comes outside the 50. De Boer, a lot of time. Subin hurriedly inside the forward 50 once more. With the run out at Pavlich, reaching over the top. Tippett did well. Well played by Adams, too. Gave it across to Bastanak, who kicks it back towards midfield. Loose ball. The attacking side of centre now for North Petrie. Nicely done. Thomas to a runner. Gore's got him. Strides inside the 50. Lines up and kicks a goal. Well done, North. broke them down. Suddenly they were through, came out quickly, and then the North players who might get the football all running back towards goal. Nobody inside the forward 50. The magic door taking giant strides. That was terrific for his confidence. Got to be impressed with the athleticism of Majak Dor there. The free kick at the start went to Sandlands. He pushed deep in defence and then got the ball on the way back. That's exactly the start North Melbourne wanted. Well, really interesting now. First four goals of the game for Fremantle and North have hit back with the next three. It's a one-goal ball game. Subin with a long kick inside 50. Heading back first, Hanson just paddling for the line. That'll do him. All of a sudden, it's Fremantle that's bombing the ball into their forward 50, and the Kangaroos are able to rebound. And, and that was modern footy mm. at its best, wasn't it? Free space in the forward 50 over to Majak. Harvey and Crowley running with each other. We can expect to see that pretty much all night. Del Santo carried forward, and he'll get the free kick. Called it then. It seems the uh, free kick of the day in the back. Right there, Clancy. Following Ross Lyon saying during the week that you could put the saddle on the player now and it doesn't matter. So, direct the, response. Well, maybe the umpire's way of retaliating. They, they seem to have gone the other way as well, don't they? There. Against Thanks Fremantle. Time. Cunnington, that was a good grab. Didn't really know what was behind him. He protected the football door, maybe held by Johnson there. It was a clever fist towards the line. And over. So at the moment, it's Fremantle now struggling to get any fluency into their game. Ben Cunnington's been a good player tonight. He's up to the 11 disposals. He's having a fantastic year. Just year by year as he develops, he's turning into one of the top liners. Del Santo, two-fisted, gains about 15 metres. This has been most impressive by North. Get the metre. Slow start on the road. Oh, dug up. in. Now free kick. Well, don't know where to look. I suppose that should uh, no, no. perhaps tempt it with a look there because it's Harvey and Crowley again. I think a lot of people did. There's Harvey. Long kick down towards the pocket. Dawson almost got it. Bastanak arrived quickly. Dawson kept coming. Cunnington. Adams was in there as well. Grabbed though by Pike to the outer side. The mark is taken by Grimer. It's the margin just six points now. Harvey has got off the leash too. He's had quite a bit of the football now. Harvey up to 13 possessions. He's the master of the give and go. Mullet. That's solidly by De Boer. Ackley, though, swings it wider. Taken by McDonald. Now a chance for Ferrito. Lines up from about 60 metres. Door on the move. Johnson, step for step with him, gets it out of bounds. A tagger. There's nothing more that a tagger hates than giving those one twos that Boomer Harvey just got then. Crowley would be very disappointed in that because it's just, he's up to 14 possessions now, Boomer Harvey. Encouraging two for North that they look prepared to go to Majak Door. They're going to use him, try and get him into the game. Goldstein on the end of the football. He was preparing to have a shot, then the footy got swatted away from his hands. Well done, Dal Santo in there fighting against, well, four dockers. The umpire lets them go. Mullet, Gibson overran the football. Still there to be one. De Boer taken front on. Ball is at the bottom of that pack and up it will go again. Just furthermore on the Harvey Crowley matchup, Fremantle are putting body on Harvey outside of play but not on the one two. And, and Brent Harvey's really 
running all over Crowley at the moment. Brilliant hit out by Goldstein. Down to Harvey. Top of the goal square. Tough one. Two on one. Dawson got his fist to the football and then, well, he missed with the handball. Bursting through. Adams ran into trouble. And up it will go again. They're playing with such aggression, North Melbourne, and it's Fremantle well and truly on the back foot. Passed up about 15 metres out from North's attacking goal. Pierce leads back, bearing down Thomas. And across the goal line, what about Lee Adams again just moments ago? Wall in front of him took them on. And he's a guy who had problems with his eye socket last week in the game against Collingwood. Maybe he didn't see the wall, but I think he did. Tough hombre. Fancy Pierce. Umpires are nailing everything at the moment. Not 15. <laughs> but it comes Nahas from the kick at Duffield. McDonald. Adams again. Loops one. Nahas needs to be careful. Pierce has got him. Hand passes to a dangerous situation. Spur goes to ground. Over the top comes Harvey. That might well be in the back. And he's back in there. Let him up, please. Thank you. I'm guessing it's in the back and <laughs> until I'm told differently. No, it certainly Thanks, was in the back then. When in doubt, go in the back. It's the one in vogue tonight. Not a bad thing either, is it? Like going in after the ball. Spur to Duffield. So it's a five-point ball game. Fremantle did lead by as much as 26 points midway through the first term. Another goal here to North Melbourne, and they'll hit the front. Move it on, Luke. McFarlane. So, not a lot to go to, and it's not a great kick, although that was poor form by McDonald. He didn't need to jump then. And he's given the ball back to Fremantle and Mundy, who kicks to the middle of the ground. Fife. Play on. Trying to get running Fremantle, but again, tough ball. Well done, Thomas. Came back with a fly to the ball. Spur, the numbers are going to tell here. Over the top, it's well done by Spur. Neil involved as well. Mazungu here, low and flat, and Main onto the chest. And Thank Sutcliffe, you. who gave it. Mark's just right there. Thank you. Both sides very much using one side of the ground, and we saw yeah, Nat Fife on that occasion yeah. really bringing the ball wide out to Lockie Neal, and this is the result. So there is plenty of space if either side's willing to take yeah. a risk and kick the ball off the line. Well, they were just able to find a little bit of space in the middle yeah. of the ground, weren't they? Fife got that ball and then he came wide to a 50-50 ball, mind you, but Fremantle had the numbers. And I'll tell you what, when you're out of form, form and you lead up like that, you want a couple of those uncontested yeah. marks. So Maine, as we know, has had a slow start to the season. Oh. A very reliable kick on goal as it got the carry. Not quite. Well done again, Ferrito. Right on the line, he got his fist there. Now behind only, and we're back to a six-point ball game. Just watching Chris Mayne come on off the ground. Stephen Hill comes on. He's only had the one hand pass so far. He's had a pretty good year driving the ball inside 50 for Frio. He's one player who can lift. Oh, Delsano. Made an error. Crozier. Trying to get that one for the dock as well played by Gibson Grimer. Adams. Look out. Greenwood met solidly by Dawson. So a boundary throw in, but the initial error came from Del Santo. Just mangled the kick to himself. Tossed in. Sandilands. Brilliantly done. Down the hill goes with the outside of the boot. What a clever kick in traffic. Under the chest of Lundy, who is a little like Scott Pendlebury. And that's the highest praise you can pay just about anybody. He has a rendezvous with the ball. He just lopes. Never seems to be going hard. And seems to find his way through traffic, doesn't he, with ease. So let's see what he can do. Matt on the mark is about two metres inside the 50. And Tansen. Right behind Mundy. Margin six points. It's working back nicely. Has it got the carry? I think so. Out to 12. David Mundy from long range. a class act. And they needed him that time because Fremantle finding a tough going against a tenacious North Melbourne team. Marlow, of course, still out of this team. And the two little guys on the forward line, they missed them too. Walters and Ballantyne.
Well, this was the marquee matchup we're all looking forward to there, and those numbers speak volumes, and it's ebbed and flowed with the game. Ryan Crowley needs some support. He needs some support on the one two. A lot of those possessions for Harvey, uncontested handball receives. So after three in a row, Fremantle get one back. North were doing all the attacking. Ball coming forward. Matt Jack Dor, great pick up. Then the fend off high, straight into the face of Johnson. Now the ball's been kicked. Once upon a time, that was an automatic 50. Not that time. Nice pick up, but the fend off, not exactly textbook way. No, it wasn't. A uh, little bit over exuberant, wasn't it? But. Uh, good to see he was clean below his knees. I mean, as Tom said, he is a terrific athlete. Probably gets lost a little bit when he plays uh, in uh, in this great game of ours, but he is certainly a great athlete. Tenth and now eleventh disposal for Johnson. He used Dawson. He gave it to Duffield and Crowley. Good take on the half volley in front of Murdoch at the ball over the line. Just back on Magic Door, Wayne. Your expectations, I guess, would just be the follow-up stuff, wouldn't I? I mean, if he can hunt the ball OK. It's, it's, it's the decision-making around the ground. That's right. And as I said then, he can get a little bit lost when he plays in the ruck and at times forward. But he's, he's just got to learn the game. He's learning the game every quarter, every minute he plays. Greenwood. Straight out of bounds under no real pressure. Undervalued player, I reckon, by North. Every time I see him play, he gets a fair bit of a footy. He was very good a couple of years ago when the younger brigade of Bastonac and Cunnington came in. He lost his spot, but he's been more than serviceable since being recalled to the side then. Must have been when I saw it. <laughs> There's McDonald. Mullet. Right there. Thanks, Aiden. Play on. Got off his line. Called to play on. Mullet. And the ball goes out of bounds. We'll have a throw in about 60 metres out from North's attacking goal. It's Fremantle by 12. Just such a pretty night tonight in Perth. Clark in front, backhands it down. Goldstein working hard. Well done, Daniel Pierce. Floats it down towards the pocket of oh, Reimer. Well played. Got a fist in there and gets it out of bounds. Matthew Pavlich, game number 297, coming off four goals last week against Sydney for the 60th time in his career. A haul of four or more. That was well done by Hill. Lockie Neal, not a great handball. Adams gives the ball to Mullet, gets it back. Did that nicely. It's a touch ball, so still alive. Dawson tried to mark. Black fisting away from behind. Attlee on the ground. Well done by Tippett. He got the ball moving forward. Attlee again in after it. Assisted by Zeeble, again back to Mullet and a quick kick forward. Ferrito only as far as Pierce. Now Duffield, a high floating ball towards the top of the 50. Clark did well. Johnson, good tackle from behind by Gibson. Footy comes back to Del Santo, uses Goldstein. They're going to get out of this. Gibson, Mullet, not clean any of it. Thomas in trouble. Ball still alive. Lockie Neal, Pierce gets it finally. Well, well done. Around Zeeble, 45 metres out. The kick is wide of the mark. He's good at six goals this season. He's picked up some of this lack for those small forwards missing. Last season got 10 all year. As we said earlier, having a good year. Well done by Goldstein. Neil, though, almost took it away. In trouble, Serban. Gets out of trouble. Goes back to the big guy, though. Clark, nowhere to go. Pierce deep in the pocket. Puts the behind post. Out of bounds on the fall. Just lacked a little bit of composure in this quarter, Fremantle, especially when they've gone forward. They've bombed it to Pavlich. They've bombed it to their other forwards. And the one goal that they have kicked was a quick kick out of a stoppage to Mundy, who goes back and kicks it from 50. But other than that, they haven't fought their way through it quite so well. McFarlane did well. So did Pierce to Fife, and Fife lines up and kicks a goal. He's got two. Fremantle steady. Well, won the ball on the outer side, and suddenly Pierce involved again. He's been busy in the last few minutes. What's he done tonight, Pierce? Twelve possessions. Only Fife has had more. He's up at, he's at 13. Daniel Pearce involved again. He is having a very good night. 12 disposals in the five inside 50s. But 
That's twice now Fife, I think, has been given too much space around the stoppage. He's such a great contested clearance player. Great win for Frio. Well done by Matt Jack Dorey. Beats Sanderlands for that one. Hill, though, despite the tackle of Dorr, kicks towards half forward. Tough one to take here. Subin was crashing his way through. Mike. De Boer there as well. And right in. Michael, right in. Up it comes again, umpire Harris. Have been very vocal tonight, the umpires. Door, Sanderland straight down to Mundy. Left it behind, here's Hill. Chance to run onto the football. Oh, brilliant, Harvey. He stole the handball, then went looking for Nahas. He didn't see Dawson in the road. Harvey gets it back, tried to use Black Mazungu. Quick kick inside 50. Clark, interesting with Tippett. Atley at the back. Can he beat Pierce? He beats the tackle, does well. Now across the goals, a bounce, dangerous, but OK in the end. And the clearing kick is all right. Long one from McDonald. And the mark not paid, not taken. Petrie, great recovery. Handball up. Trying to use his man, cruising by. That was well done to McDonald again. Back to Petrie. They move the ball to the wing and Bastanak. Oh, Black did well. Strong mark by Black. Now, Magic Door needs to be smart here and get Sanderlands out of the space. Long ball, close to the boundary. Maybe the objective there is to get it out of bounds. If that's the case, it's OK, but very wide kick. Yeah, it was a really safe kick, Dennis, and that's because the North Melbourne player looked up and saw Sanderlands where he wanted to kick the ball. So that's yeah. the part of the footy smarts that Magic Door needs to work on and improve on as he develops his AFL career. Cunnington, Zeeble, Door, Zeeble. Walk his way out of there, nothing Mike. doing. The, the other thing then, boys, the three tools for North boys. Melbourne all got caught up the Please ground, down. and it was hard for them to go long because they only had Thomas and Del Santo down there. This inside 50, the first in 12 minutes for North. Sanderlands deftly. Out of there by Bastanat. Touch ball, as you heard, Mazungu. Bounces to Fife. And he kicks it outside the defensive 50. McFarlane tracking Black. Black left the ball behind McFarlane. Missed his opportunity though. Black did well. Hanson, the look away hand pass for Rito. Concedes some ground. Atley. Men on in the middle. Not going to use them. Grimer. Will he chance his arm? Yes, he will. Lovely kick. Mullet's got it now. He can take off and run at the defence. Out wide. Finds Gibson. Gibson steps inside the 50. Lines up. Well worked, North Melbourne. They took a risk. Well, the first guy, and I'm just trying to think who it was, Atley, didn't want to take that risk, but eventually they created their own space. And then across the ground, that man, the beneficiary, Gibson, good, honest player, and suddenly back to 12 points. You've got to be brave with your ball use. The game has been played very much up and down the traffic lines, if you like, the wings, and both sides have been able to score when they've been able to kick the ball over to the open side of the ground. See, just finding space. He, he's having a pretty good season, Gibson, it must be said, but finding space, using the ball in, into the space, getting it outside of the traffic lines, if you like, is the key to key to goals for both these sides. So North get one back, and we're back to a two-goal ball, a two goal ball game against Zeebel. That was interesting. Lockie Neal, first one. He knew Dorr was coming, and Dorr kept coming. Well done. Reaching in. Gave the football to Bastinac. Three man all. You're not allowed to do that. Just handed it to him. Straight away. Stay there. Play on. So Duffield across half back. It's a good kick and the mark well taken. Crozier plays on quickly. Sends it long down in the Pavlich direction. Drifting across. Pavlich went again. That was well done. DeBoer somehow oh. through there and Zebel like a soccer goalie. Making sure it was touched. It was athletic. That's for Dave, sure. Frio. Dave. 13 points there, Lee. Jack, when you're ready. It was on target too, wasn't yeah. it? Play on. Zeebel kicked it to himself. This is Tippett. 
Up towards the wing. Black did well, gave a contest, and now he's the beneficiary. Takes off, one bounce. Petrie, the only man inside the forward 50. With him is McFarlane, but Nahas chips beyond the pair of them. He's got a sense of humour, and Johnson goes back. Nobody near him. That was a wasteful ball inside 50. Johnson drives this one towards the outer side. Grimer's peeled off. Well played. Great courage again. Knocked it down to Harvey. The give and go. Hanson lamenting in his wake out there is Crowley. Well blocked was Johnson's move there on Harvey. Meantime, the kick from Petrie goes through for a behind. That was terrific work there. Because he was on again, Harvey. And it needed a block. Otherwise, he may have finished up in the goal square. Harvey up to 18 disposals. He's having some sort of game. As Dennis mentioned, he's got off the leash. North Melbourne now 4 6 30. So already they have scored more than they did last time these two teams played here at Patterson Stadium. Held to just 29 points. Last year, long kick. That's a good mark up in front by Hansen. So they're hanging in there, North. Less than seven minutes to play in this opening half. It's been pretty entertaining. Door at the back, the footy to Black, who snaps and kicks a great goal. And, 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 and keep it right, keep it low. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No footy kick scores. Thanks. Six point ball game. They wanted to remonstrate after the kick. It's been that sort of night, Wayne, and it's. Only a goal again. North have done really well. They sure have, and they've gone straight to the uh, the player that they've wanted to stir up and give the ball to his opponent all night, and that is Crowley. Boomer Harvey now up to 18 possessions in the first half. Not sure he's uh, had that many possessions in a half against uh, Ryan Crowley, but it's been a real focus. There's been a lot of free kicks paid off the ball tonight. They're paying... Uh, I mean, the umpires are onto everything. Little fro throws out of a pack, not being 15. Yes. Sharp. Out of the middle, Hill floats it down towards half forward. Cozier did well. Oh, there! Boomer's career high is 44 against the West Coast Eagles as recently as 2010. Hill goes looking for Pavlich. Could have almost been held on to. That hit the ground. Well done by Grimer. Pavlich slaps it out. Del Santo ran into a dead end. Cunnington lays it off. This is Tippett. Tippett needs to be accurate. Well, put your dockers around the football. Putting the body in. Doing well was Greenwood. Adams. Del Santo back to Greenwood, deserves a kick after that good effort. Up towards the wing. Oh, Topping the arms, advantage is paid. Mullets on the move then at the interchange gates. Little chip around the corner. DeBoer got the bouncing ball. Well done by Thomas, knocked it away from Dawson. Dawson put the body in, in goes Del Santo. Falling to the ground, he gave it to Dorr. Dorr is tackled by Clark. Jarred out of there. Duffield, well, the doctor was right in his... Vision there, he certainly stopped. It's the North Melbourne doctor, and putting on the brakes was Neil. Meantime, back at the action, it's Grimer across half back. A wobbly kick finds Goldstein. Greenwood down too. He's been down for quite a while and slow to get to his feet. In fact, coming off now, Atley handball over the top. Running hard is Bastinac. Now he's got Gibson running with him. They've just got Sanderlands to negotiate, and they do that okay. They carry the ball from the wing towards half forward. Harvey not happy with the kick. And now Crowley getting some support from the crowd, but it's been Boomer Harvey's night so far, that is for sure. Yeah, there's plenty of feeling in this game. Boomer Harvey Crowley is a good matchup. And Zach Dawson's ruffling a few feathers out there also from Frio's point of view. Well done by Bastinac. He got the footy after five, lost it. Z ball. Throw. Advantage. There's been a few of those tonight. So Neil gets that free kick, gives it to Fife. Pavlich on his own on half forward. No one inside 50, so goes short to Maine, who marks on the 50. And still no one in Fremantle colours inside the arc. So the Pav winds up. And that's not his best effort. In fact, very disappointing for Pavlich. He could have got the distance. Maybe just a little over-exuberant. Out of bounds, it'll be tossed in. Nathan Grimer could have been a bit smarter than he actually pushed up towards probably 40, 50 metres outside of goal. He should have known that Pav was only going wrong and he could have intercepted the ball and rebounded the ball outside of the defensive 50. So lost opportunity for North. Holstein down to Tippett. On his left side, Del Santo back to Tippett. Tippett the high ball coming out. Johnson the meat and the sandwich. Dawson flies from behind. And the ball goes out of bounds. Four and a half minutes out from halftime. Friday night football at Patterson Stadium. 
Two three and two teams battling it out right here. Such an important game. In the margin just six points. Next goal, pretty important. Tossed in. Reaching over the top, Clark. Fife butters up again. Somehow bounces out with ball in hand. Pulls it back towards full forward. Pavlich, there was a hand on the shoulder there, and the umpire thought about it. And a free kick to Pavlich. So 23 free kicks with four minutes to go to half time. No doubting that one if they're going to play it all the time. Uh, they're under everything tonight, aren't they? As you see there, the left hand just over the shoulder. And they paid one of those earlier to Sanderland, so not dissimilar in a way. But they are picking up everything tonight. Small throws out of a pack, as I said. Balls that aren't travelling 15 for a mark. Well, the thing is, everyone lauded them initially for not blowing their whistle, putting their whistles away in the first three weeks. Well, they've had a rummage and they found them. There's a kick out to the right from Pav, who doesn't find range from directly in front. 43 plays 36. Game 297, only one player in AFL history has got to 297 and not gone on to play 300. That's current umpire's boss, Wayne Campbell. Del Santo, I think the Pav will march on. That's the Derby next week for Fremantle. Aaron Sandlands will play his 200th game, all being well. Zeebel with North Melbourne really coming. It's a seven-point ball game. Thomas was being held. North Melbourne free, just backward of the wing. And right now you feel, Thomas, though, Fremantle are just a little bit nervous. Yeah, I think what North Melbourne have done really well is they've competed in the key contested categories and contested possessions and clearances. They're the two statistics that they really fall by the wayside in losses but they've been good tonight. Mullet was waiting down. He got it off a couple of teammates. Greenwood to Harvey to Duffield who read that very well. Very good just zoning off his man creating the out number and his short kick is okay. The mark by Sutcliffe. So less than three minutes to play. Freo would love one more, but north of the team coming. The kick from McFarlane out to Spur. Close to the boundary line. Comes down that boundary line. Mundy just ropes up, takes the mark. Two and a half minutes remaining in the half. Seven points the difference. Oh, dangerous kick came off. Well done by Clancy Pierce. Made it look okay. Bustling defender. Spur. Nobody behind him, certainly not for North, as he kicks it along the boundary line, taken by Clark. As they methodically work their way forward, there's the kick inside the forward 50. Oh, Sandilin's got hands to it, couldn't hang on. Main, slick hands away. Neil Mazungu, he sends it down towards the Pav. Thrown out of the way, no free kick that time. Sutcliffe. Follows the football. Zebel, who did the throwing just moments ago, butted up again. Sutcliffe, to the hands. Fife lowers the eyes, and Subin has taken the mark. Well, it's taken one of their gun plays in that Fife to actually have a little bit of composure. I think, if you look at the first quarter, it was the Kangaroos that lacked a little bit of composure. I think in this quarter, it's been Fremantle that's lacked composure. And Mundy and Fife have kicked their goals. Monday, as I said, was from a quick kick. Fife was from a stoppage. And on this occasion, it was Fife that had the composure to find a free player. But other than that, they've tended to kick to a contest and the Kangaroos rush it out. So Subban misses. And all of a sudden, the pressure builds. It was the Kangaroos missing those early goals in the first quarter. Now it's Freeman. So where do you see the game right now, Wayne? Well, I think it's, uh, it's a 50-50 uh, game because all of a sudden they look a little bit rattled for mine, Freo. Mullet kicks to himself through the hands of Dorr. They get the footy at the back, close to the line. Cunnington over. It's going to be hard to get set shots on goal like that too tonight. Only two marks inside 50 for North Melbourne and four for Fremantle. So you've got to make them count. I don't think either team are going to get many set shots tonight. 
Fremantle led by 12 points at quarter time. It's an eight-point ball game right here. Sanderlands with strength. He released the arm. Bastanak just couldn't get his kick away. Crowley swoops on the football. DeBoer. Petrie had him. Subin. Nahas going hard at it. Goes again. Thomas can use Nahas. He went the other way. Not sure that was quite the right idea. Cunnington over the footy. Hanson. Clark left it behind. Neal. It's a tough ball to win in there. Cunnington, who started all of that off, gets the footy back. And up it will go with 25 seconds remaining in the first half. Been a good first half too, hasn't it? Sandilands hooks it down behind. Mundy lost it. Neil. DeBoer, well dragging a few with him to the 50. Clock stops at 15. Goldstein. Sandlins. Sandlins won it. Hammered back by Muller. Pierce. Duffield. Down to six seconds. Oh! In the pocket. Pavlich almost. Quickly to his feet. Hand passes outside the 50. The moment has passed. Well, plenty of spirit from North Melbourne. They've been very good. They trailed by 12 points at quarter time. They started their fight back before quarter time. And now they're down by just eight. Half time on Friday Night Football. It's Fremantle 6-8, North Melbourne 5-6.